This is Steve coming to you with the news alert. Off the BBC News website this morning, Ipswich School triggers inquiry into pupil aged 30. It could be a light at the end of the tunnel, it might actually be something happening here. An adult asylum seeker who posed as a 15 year old student is being investigated by the government. The Home Office confirmed it will be looking into how the man, who could be as old as 30, was allowed to join Stoke High School in Ipswich. An age assessment carried out by the local authority found the individual to be over 18, meaning he could now face deportation. The Home Office said age disputed cases remain a challenging area of work. Yeah, but can't you tell the difference between a 15 year old and a 30 year old? I mean, th uh, th 30 years of age is twice the amount, twice the age of a 15 year old. Our spokeswoman said, we are fully committed to safeguarding children and are looking into the circumstances of this case to understand how it was handled. In the absence of clear and credible documentary evidence, Home Office staff must rely on physical appearance and demeanour to make an initial assessment on whether a person claiming to be a child is under 18. Well, you know, like there's facial hair, there's beards, there's moustaches, maybe a receding hairline. If an individual is assessed to be under 18 but subsequent concerns about their age are raised, for example by a school, we will quickly act quickly to reconsider the case. Earlier this month, a pupil at Stoke High shared an image on social media with the message, how there's a 30-year-old man in our maths class. The school which initially contacted the Home Office previously said it had followed government and local authority policies and guidance, as we do for any asylum admissions matter. It added the pupil was not attending the school at this time. Pupil? Why are they called pupils? This is another, uh, this is like a separate rant uh, aside from the initial one to get sidetracked for a second. I can't stand it when there's double definitions of words. So that we've already got a definition for the word pupil and it's considered to be part of the human eye. P the pupil. So you have a second definition uh, to describe, you know, a completely separate um, thing. Uh, one word should have one dictionary definition attached to it. Pupils. So, uh, yeah, that's the quick rant for first thing on a Saturday morning. Um, only, yeah, less than four minutes long. Thanks for watching. See you next time.